What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 33. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, take your own samples that you recorded and quickly throw them into an EXS24 instrument so you can quickly play your song with your MIDI pads or your MIDI controller, your keyboard, whatever your MIDI controller may be. You can quickly take your samples that you recorded and throw it into an instrument so you could quickly play along with your song. So basically what I have right here is a uh, little recording that I did. They're just basically vocal hits, vocal percussions that I did. So I'm just going to go ahead and play so you can just hear what they are and then we'll throw them into an EXS24 instrument and you'll see how quickly we can get up and running to play these with our song. Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh. All right, so those are my samples right there. So basically, we can chop them up single by single by hitting our uh, scissors tool or chop tool, but we don't want to do that. What we want to do is select our audio, go to audio, go to strip silence, and right here, automatically Logic tries to detect all the waveforms that you want to cut out, and uh, you can go ahead and adjust that if you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little tighter on some of my cuts here, and uh, yeah, so I'm ready to go. I'm just going to see if I do a little tighter. Note that will cut off my samples a little bit. All right, so now it's pretty much my samples are all cut up to the point where I want it to go. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And now Logic automatically took out all the silence, if you will, out of the in between each sample. I'm just going to go ahead and delete some of the stuff that Logic didn't recognize as no audio. So now that your audio is all nicely cut up and you don't have any space in between the regions, you can go ahead and select all your regions, go to the audio menu, Go convert regions to new sampler track. You can call the EXS uh, instrument name, so let's call it vocal percussions. And in here, the trigger note range, you can decide what uh, octave you want it to be in, but I'm just going to leave it whatever logic tells me. I'm going to click OK. You can go ahead and delete this part right here because you don't need it. Basically what it does, it just plays it out to where it was during the song, but we don't need this because we want to play it out to our new song. And you can bring up your virtual keyboard or your controller and quickly play your samples that you just cut up and put into an EXS24 instrument. Hi. Oh. Hi. And that's how simple it is to create samples, throw them to an EXS24 instrument. As you can see, you can do it within about a couple uh, 30 seconds to a minute, very quick, very easily, and it just keeps you moving along in your music. If you want to record a sample, get it, boom, and you're done, you're ready to go. So that's it for me. I'm Adam from Ami Music Mogul. Remember to rate and subscribe for more uh, great videos. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section, and more great videos coming soon, guys. Later. Later.